Hello and welcome to Thought for September 27th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 10, Ezekiel chapter 23 and Luke chapter 20. And our thought is, you yourself must bear the consequences. Our chapter 10 in 1 Chronicles describes how Saul bore the consequences because he did not seek guidance from the Lord. Verse 14. The same message emerges from the distasteful parable in our 23rd chapter in Ezekiel. At the climax of this ugly parable, the Lord God says, Because you have forgotten me and cast me behind your back, you yourselves must bear the consequences. Verse 35. As we have read today's chapter in the Gospel of Luke, we saw the parable of Jesus giving warning of the same consequences for the religious leaders who were rejecting him. Jesus tells the parable of the vineyard and the failure of the tenants to whom it had been let out, and how, in the end, they killed the son of the owner, saying, This is the heir, let us kill him, so that the inheritance may be ours. Chapter 10, verse 14. They were to bear the consequences for doing this. And thus the nation of Israel was destroyed, the generation that had rejected Jesus. What do we see today? What is the scene in the whole world? God's word has been made available in every language over the last 100 years, and in some cases much longer. Most of today's generation have turned their back on God's message. The great majority are now denying that there is even a God, a creator who has given them his son to believe and follow as the only way to be considered worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead. Verse 35. This is the point Jesus made to those who deny that there is a resurrection. Verse 27. Those who deny the wonder of What is revealed in God's word must bear the consequences. There are awesome consequences to come, as we will find and fear in Luke's chapter tomorrow, for those who deny the truths revealed in God's word. And those who do not deny them must wholeheartedly accept them. There is no middle way. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, which are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.